What's going on champs and champets? I hope everyone's having a wonderful morning and in the background footage you can see the official gameplay trailer for the new permanent mode called Zero Build. Now Zero Build is the no build mode we had been playing for the past nine days of the season. It's just they decided to make it a permanent mode with its own fully blown trailer and everything. Now some things I want to quickly mention before we get into the main hotfix update of this video is that in the gameplay trailer we can see a few unreleased things such as LMGs returning but also the code name of Jetpack containers. Jetpack containers based on the video are little jetpacks that are just hanging on the wall that people can go by and just interact with to grab the jetpack off the wall and use it whenever they want to. But yeah, I just want to quickly mention those things from the trailer because, you know, they're not the main focus of today's YouTube video because they're things coming out in the future. However, you know, of course, they got announced today, so I'm going to talk about them a little bit. However, when it comes to things that have been officially announced, the first thing is the Anvil Rocket Launcher. You'll be able to rock vehicles with this new rocket launcher as it is a heavy actual rocket launcher that whenever you scope in with it, you'll be able to lock onto nearby vehicles. And once you've locked on and you shoot it, the rocket will actually home its way to that vehicle and not only damage it, but do four times the normal damage it would do to a player to that vehicle itself. So let's say the rocket was to do 100 damage. Well, if it does 100 damage to a player, that means it will do 400 damage to a tank, to a whiplash, whatever you are driving around in. And now Anvil Rocket Launcher is going to be found in any type of chest, any type of supply chest, as well as supply drops. And finally, you can also find Anvil Rocket Launchers in the stomach of a shark. On top of that, however, we have Unvaulting Battle is officially returning with the first one being the MK7 Assault Rifle versus the Combat Assault Rifle. And unlike previous unvaulting events in the past, what Epic Games is going to do is from April 2nd at 4 a.m. Eastern Time to April 4th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, they are going to unvault both of the weapons. And the whole entire purpose of this is to let people try out the MK Assault Rifle and the Combat Assault Rifle in the normal Fortnite modes to figure out is this something I enjoy, is this something I don't enjoy, which one do I actually want to pay to try winning the unvaulting battle? It's just a way to give people a fair chance to see what the current stats of the weapons are and just do complete comparisons between the two. It's something that is a slight change from how they did the funding battles in the past, however I feel it's an awesome change because not everyone pays attention to Fortnite news, Fortnite leaks, or even notices the slight differences between the weapons until both of them are just sitting there for players to actually try experiencing. And now, shortly after the April 4th uh, trial period ends, there will be the actual actual unvaulting stations where you can vote for one of the weapons and the first weapon that reaches 100% funded will make its way automatically into the loot pool. And now based on the actual funding data, it should take 2.5 billion bars to actually fund one of these weapons. So yeah, we're gonna have to see what everyone truly wants in the game because that is a lot of bars to actually start funding for stuff. Now with some competitive notes here, the Anvil Rocket Launcher is not included in competitive modes and the MK7 Assault Rifle and the Combat Assault Rifle trial period will not take place in competitive modes, but once one of these items get unvaulted, it seems that Epic Games might include it instantly in competitive. Overall though, this is a pretty good hotfix update, and if you go in game right now, some new resistant challenges are live, where you're able to actually play and earn some free XP, while also getting some more of that lore going on as we build up to actually seeing the seven tanks arriving in Fortnite. Because right now, the tanks in the game are all based on the IO, however, the seven plans to remake these tanks with their own design on top of them. If you enjoyed today's video, however, consider subscribing to support the content I create, and I'll catch you champs and champets tomorrow with another YouTube video. Peace out.